disproportionately then, um, divorce can affect women worse because it's often the men who had the careers, who had uh, a very good pension, and that's not taken into account? Uh, not sufficiently. So even before these big, big changes next month, what tends to happen at time of divorce is there's a lot of focus on the house. You know, you, you can see it, you need somewhere to live. Obviously, that's important. But what people miss is if, if you're in a long marriage, the most common outcome is that the husband has had the career, has had the big pension. The wife, you know, this is general, but it, it's very common, will have had a, a damaged pension, a low pension. She spent time out bringing up children. And when they come to split everything up, it's very easy to just say, well, pensions are complicated. I don't understand them. We'll forget them. When actually the husband's pension can be worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. And it's partly through his wife's work and bringing up the family. He's been able to have a career and build up the big pension. That should be factored in when they split up. And even under the current system, in most cases, it isn't. I find that astonishing because um, no matter uh, how bad the feelings are in, in the worst of divorces, usually I thought it came to a, a matter of sums, a matter of doing the maths. And that was all laid out on the table and sort of the, and the, the start point was 50-50. Obviously, it gets negotiated either way. Uh, but you're telling me that pensions are not taken into account? Not sufficiently. So I say even before these big, you know, half a century changes coming in next month, which perhaps we'll talk about in a moment. But currently, only one in three divorces has any formal financial settlement, financial court order, and not all of those include pensions. And partly that's because people just don't appreciate the value of a pension. You know, if, if you've worked, for example, in the public sector for 20, 25 years, your pension could easily be worth hundreds of thousands of pounds, but people don't they don't grasp that that's the value of it. It's complicated and, and getting it valued properly needs a professional. And I, you know, I've spoken to people getting divorced who've just said, I just want it done with. I don't want anything to do with him or her. I want to start my life again. This is just going to protract things. I'll have half the house and I'll move on. And, and that may seem the right answer at the time, get things done. But when you retire 20 years later, divorced women, very high risk of poverty in retirement. That needs fixing at the time of the divorce.